Hey guys, what's going on? Um, this is the 8th, I think? 8th episode of um, our Bucket Mini Game Programming, which is awesome. Um, this one, I said I'm probably not going to work on the Bucket Mini Game, or the Bucket Scoreboard subtracting the score um, today, but t maybe tomorrow... Today I'm going to be working on more money commands, so if label, no, um, yeah, label, <sighs> no, I don't want to do that, um, what I want to do is, there, uh, so, if args dot length, is equal to one. Um. Yeah. This is. Um. So if it's equal to one, and then if args one dot equals. dot equal uh oh args one dot equals ignore case um let's just say money give uh p dot send message chat color dot red plus um uh, type slash give or er, money give and then user name let's just say uh let's just put these into a little like this because that's a pretty universal term. Um, Alright, so... Now what we can do is... I'll be adding more to that, the length one, in a minute. Uh, let me just... Get down there. Alright, if it's equal to two... If, if args one is equal to give, and if... Args, wait, where, oh, come on. If, wait, let me just turn that off. All right. So if args2 dot equal dot equals ignore case, um, uh, God, this is going to kill me here. I just can't remember what to put here. Um. Oh, my God. <sighs> One second, guys. All right, so I'm just going to try this. Um, so, player... P equals player um, sender and wait oh player P is already defined so I don't think I need to do that um, so player target equals P dot get server dot get player arg0 does that work no oh wait I know why it's args 0 why not does it need to be in an array yay okay so this hopefully I'm pretty sure should get the um the player 
that he's sending to. So target. Hopefully that works. No, it doesn't. Um. Oh, so if I do. Uh, string name, let's just say equals tar target dot get name, and we can do name, and that should work. Um, if that's the case, um, if And what you guys were saying is, uh, I heard you guys saying that you guys want to regulate permissions for this. So if p dot has permission, um, let's just say mini game dot give, and do that. Enter there all right so now you have to have the permission to do this um so let me just let's do um where's the give give coins okay so what we can do is literally as easy as it gets um, we can just type give coins p i I believe. Um, so where is it here? Wait, no, up one there. Okay, so give coins coins p i. Now the thing is, is we don't have an integer, so int i is equal to zero initially int i will be equal to zero all right so there we go we we did it so that's how you give it to players so um now the only issue is um we don't well this seems like it's right right this but it's not because um well this is going to be tricky because i don't i'm not too positive on how i'm going to do this um the thing is is money give player and then the amount we need to get we need to put an integer um so we need to do this won't work because give um oh my gosh this is i gotta think about this for a minute one sec guys okay so uh what we want to do is um well essentially what I, in theory what i want to do is i'm just going to copy this get amount and i'm going to paste it right here and the thing is is get amount coin what coins why not um, player P. Okay, so we just want to get rid of this. Um, it's equal to zero. P dot send. Wait, why did I get rid of those? P dot send message. You. You. Do not have enough um coins and i'm just going to delete all this uh 
Alright, and, oh, there. Okay, so, and what we need to do is that. Alright, so basically what this is doing now, it's not done, but what it's doing is if, if a player type slash well it not yet but I'm gonna add it into here if they type slash give or whatever um and they type and they type in a, if they have zero coins it will send or it will uh uh just send a message to the player saying that they don't have enough coins because they have zero they can't give an, any coins to people because they have zero but if uh what's it called um so what we need to do now is else um i don't think i'm gonna do an else i think i'm just gonna uh delete that one all right so get amount coins p oh so well here, what we can do is this. Um, we don't even need to do if. We can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And there um so now what we w this is actually really cool i think so um i think wait if args 2 is oh okay um and then what we need to do is if args three dot equals ignore case um what should we do and I'm gonna create int integer array coins equals Oh, well, no. Integer array coins. And we can just hopefully type in coins. No. Um. Well. Um. Well, I don't. I'm not too positive what to do here um uh well i'm just gonna delete this and i'll add it in a later episode i'm just gonna delete the coins i'm just gonna keep this integer i equals zero so give and we don't want it to be p we want it to be target and then what we do is take coins um p i all right um so what this is doing is oh whoops okay um p i wait what does the capital i look like all right so p i all right um so now what this is is well, I really wanted to add something to it, but um, I guess I have to do that in a later episode because um, it is getting quite long right now. I'm looking at the time, and I'm running quite a bit over like I did last episode. Last episode was crazy long, uh, so I'm probably going to wrap it up. Uh, there's one thing that I want to do. Oh, yeah. Um, so if um, get amount coins is equal to zero ah uh, 
No, I don't want to do that. Um. All right. Well, I will see you guys next episode. Um. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button to subscribe. I mean, even if you didn't, just hit that like button, man. That's awesome. Uh, I really ho hope you guys enjoy this. I didn't do much this episode. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought there would be a lot more going on, but unfortunately, there really wasn't. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow.